everybody, welcome back to Chris Needs Decor. Today I want to show you some acrylic painting on canvases and mason jars. So it's kind of like a two-in-one combo project. So I just wanted to quickly show you what I purchased and then we'll get started on step-by-step -step what to do. So um, you can get these canvases, you can get, um, Walmart has the three pack, I think it's $6. Or the dollar store also has them for a dollar a piece. Got these um, mason jars at the dollar store, Dollar Tree, dollar. And then I picked up some um, of these um, acrylic paints, uh, non-toxic, water soluble. So I got a blue, a green, white, a hot pink, and like a lavender purple. So those were a dollar each. And then this you can go on Amazon or at Home Depot or Walmart. Um, this is Floatrol, so this um, eliminates like lower marks, it lets it flow evenly, and just comes out nicer because I tried it without this and it was like really thick and globby and it took forever to dry. So definitely recommend this. This bottle was like eight dollars. Then for the mason jars, we're gonna make like a little uh, vase. Got some uh, flour, you can use fresh cut flowers or you can use fake flowers. You can get a bushel at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So um, what I did um, right now was just pre-mix some of these. So you're gonna put some Floetrol in and then your acrylic paint on top and then you're just gonna mix it and you want it to just, you know, be able to not be so thick but drippy. You don't want it clumpy, so you wanna just mix it so it's nice and flowy. This. So, um, put about this much in of the flow troll, and then we take the acrylic paint and we just kind of put it on top, kind of eyeball it. You need to add some more, um, and then just take your knife or spoon, and you just want to quickly mix it up really good. So, what I'm going to do is take um, each of the mixed paints and I'm going to pour it into a separate cup and I want to kind of layer these so that we can pour it on top. So. Kind of drizzle down and settle then we are going to move these over to your cardboard and let them dry and then we're going to work on the canvas so carefully take the bottom of your cup lift it up and you want to move it over that way it can finish flowing okay, so now that you have the leftover paint from dripping your mason jar you just kind of tilt it any which way so that it goes on the edge. You don't want it to go on your table, so just be careful. And slowly just work your way to 
to the edges. You can also take a toothpick, I can't talk tonight, and you can make designs in it to kind of give it a different effect. So you just want to try to keep moving it. I know it takes a little bit of time to fill out your canvas, but just keep working your way around it. So um, this is just going over the finished product that we did the other day. Um, after letting the canvases and the mason jars dry for over 24 hours, I wanted to show you the finished product. Um, so first was this canvas. And this was the mason jar that we had dripped on top of it. So I just got these uh, lilac colored flowers and I'm just gonna put this in the jar. You can use it um, fake flowers so they don't die or you could put real flowers and it came out really cool. Um, another thing, if you want to make it nice and shiny or glossy, you can apply Mod Podge to it. I'm just going to leave mine because I like it flat and I think it came out really pretty. The only thing I didn't like is these bend very easily. So when it dried, it's kind of warped. So if you're going to do canvas, I recommend getting the one with the wooden back. That way it's not going to bend. But we came up with a solution. We had purchased a frame for our one picture that we did. So we put it in this white frame, get us at Walmart for like $8.50, and it fit perfectly, it straightened out, and it looks awesome. I love the way this one came out. Get the frame, and then you can hang it up any which way you want to do it. And the mason jar that came with that one um, that we did is really bright. I love the blues, the greens, and the purple. Again, um, if you want to put like a fake tea light at the bottom, you can use it as like a candle holder. You can put real flowers in, or you can get the little fake flowers. And this is a really cute gift that you can give somebody for Mother's Day is coming up. You can make this for your mother. So um, tell me what you think of this project. Leave a comment below. Uh, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for your love and support. Have a great day.